Hello everybody, my name is Jane and as usual I'm so happy to welcome you here on our YouTube channel. Today I've prepared for you just a mind-boggling topic such as discrimination of non-native English teachers. We are going to talk a lot about different things such as companies where you can teach online, countries which hire you willingly if you are not from English-speaking country, and different things that you should know as a non-native English speaker. So if you are interested in, keep watching. Also, let me remind you that this video made for international certification. So go to our website, tuppletosolcertification.com to know more about us. So English is the international language and a lot of people around the world are motivated to learn it because of so many reasons such as education, business and even traveling. So there is a huge demand for ESL teachers and it's growing each year. Thankfully, we have a chance to get a job almost in any place around the world. However, when you start searching for a job, you may face some difficulties on your path. So let's dwell on it. So the first problem that can arise is about that all schools around the world are waiting for only native English speakers to teach English. It means that a candidate must be from any English speaking country from a list such as Canada, the United Kingdom, the USA, New Zealand and others. And sometimes such list excludes other countries where English is an official language. Of course, there is a chance to find other countries where you can work officially. However, you may face another problem relates to a work visa. There are strict requirements for English teachers in some countries such as South Africa, Indonesia, Taiwan and Vietnam. So it's quite difficult to obtain a work visa there. And if you wonder what's the reason of a such discrimination, the answer is simple. That's a guarantee to have a really professional English teacher who speaks English fluently. And that's totally unfair because we know being a native English speaker doesn't mean being a professional English teacher. And if you have a passion for teaching, if you can explain everything in a nutshell, in the easiest way, probably you have a talent. So use it and use your advantage as a non-native English speaker because you can find other different places around the world to teach English. So, as a non-native speaking teacher, you have different advantages. For example, you understand your students and their problems because you were in their shoes. And you can explain grammar, vocabulary, prepositions and articles because you knew that from knowledge, not because of gut feeling. So, keep in mind such advantages and don't forget to mention them on the interview. So, there are at least eight different countries where you can find a job easily as a non-native English speaker and they will appreciate your talent rather than a hometown. Cambodia is one of the most exotic and undiscovered places in the world. The government doesn't require neither teaching experience nor any bachelor's degree. However, keep in mind that TEFL certification will raise your chances to get a job. The salary is a bit lower in comparison with Thailand or Vietnam. For example, an average salary might be between $600 and $1,000 a month, whereas expenses might be about $600. If you have a degree, you can apply for a job in Turkey with no fear because this hospitable and marvelous country will welcome you even if you are not from English-speaking country. For example, an average salary here is something between $1,000 and $1,800 a month, whereas a cost of living is about $600 a month. Thailand is a wonderful place to teach English abroad. The salary isn't high and it varies from $900 to $2,500 a month, whereas a cost of living is something between $900 and $2,000 a month. So if you want to teach English here, you need to pass an IELTS exam, also provide any bachelor's degree. And uh, despite the fact that TEFL certification isn't required, it will be your advantage among other candidates. China is a perfect place for non-native English speakers because of so many reasons. Firstly, you have a chance to discover ancient history and do the sites. Secondly, there is the most lucrative market around the world and there are different workplaces where you can find a job easily. And the last thing that salary is high, whereas cost of living is low. For example, you can earn something between $1,000 and $4,000 a month, whereas average expenses are between $400 and $1,000 a month. Japan is a wonderful and amazing country to teach English abroad. 
but you may have some difficulties on your path. For example, a bachelor's degree is a must-have as well as teaching experience because there are different workplaces and international companies which are ready to hire you. And in that case, you may earn something between $1,000 and $5,000 a month. There are plenty of locations in South and Central America. For example, you can start your career as an English teacher in Brazil, Costa Rica, and even Argentina. The only one requirement is TOEFL to Seoul or CELTA certification. Don't forget that you can teach English in Europe. For example, an average salary and cost of living are pretty the same. It's something between $900 and $1,800 a month, whereas a bachelor's degree is a necessity, as well as TOEFL certification or CELTA certificate. Teaching English online is the best option for those who are not ready to move and go abroad. An average salary is between $10 or $20 an hour, and essential requirements are pretty simple. You need to have a stable internet connection, fluent English, and teaching experience. Also, here you may face discrimination as well. However, we have chosen some companies which will hire you willingly, even if you are not from English-speaking country. Italki is a platform where students have a chance to choose language teachers. That's why you need to make an appropriate video introduction and put it in your profile. Also, you need to have a language proficiency certification to prove your qualification. And Go is almost the same platform where teachers can provide their lessons to students from Japan, Taiwan, and other countries. Also, certification that proves your proficiency in English is a must-have, whereas teaching experience is advantage. Also, don't forget that here you can set your own schedule and an average lesson lasts about 25 minutes. Topica Native is a platform for adults who want to study conversational English. Also, an average lesson lasts 45 minutes, whereas you have a flexible timetable. As a non-native English speaker, you must provide a proof of your proficiency level of English, and also your salary will depend on your qualification and teaching experience. All Right is an online school where you can teach children, and if you love it so much, there are simple requirements, such as a bachelor's degree, teaching experience, and TOEFL certification. Don't forget that there are three categories, like native, near-native, and standard, and because of that, your salary may change. Also, don't forget that you can choose a lesson duration and manage your salary this way. Fluent B is an online school which studies Polish adults. The only requirement here is one year of teaching experience, and also other things will be your advantages. And as usually, you have a flexible schedule here. In Learn Light, you can teach business professionals of different fields. However, the requirements are quite high. For example, you must have two years of working experience as a minimum, as well as international qualifications such as TOEFL to Seoul or CELTA certificate. However, a business background will be your advantage. Preply is a marketplace of teachers. Here you can manage your lessons having your own schedule. However, take into account that this company takes a 100% commission fee of every first paid lesson with a new student. Probably you've noticed that TOEFL to Seoul certification is a required qualification by most language centers around the world, and it will definitely help you to become a sought-after professional. Thanks to a TOEFL to Seoul certificate, you will become a member of the community of global teachers. Also, you will upgrade your knowledge regarding different approaches of teaching adults or children, and of course, your chances to get a job abroad will raise. And don't forget that salary gets higher. So if you are interested in it, go to our website and don't miss an opportunity to purchase online TOEFL course at 50% discount. So I hope you understand that it's quite possible to teach English abroad or online for non-native English speakers. However, you should take some things into account in order to stand out of a crowd such as international qualification, two years of teaching background, a bachelor's degree, and other things that you can mention on the interview. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and valuable, and I'll see you the next time. Have a good day.